Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to talk about the susceptibility, relative permittivity, and the dielectric constant. We all know that when an electric field is applied to some dielectric, the molecules align themselves, leading to, to the formulation of polarization. Okay? In fact, this polarization, which is caused by the external electric field, is a proportional to the applied electric field in the first place and uh, for the most of time it re it's represented by this equation p which is the polarization vector is equal to the permittivity of the free space times some proportional proportionality constant times the electric field and uh, and this key he or he or whatever you call this letter, this Greek letter, uh, usually we call it by key, by key. This constant of proportionality is known by the electric susceptibility. And uh, from this equation, we have extracted epsilon sub zero, the permittivity of free space, in order to, to make this factor uh, dimensionless. And the, the electric subs, uh, susceptibility is generally representing the degree of polarization of the dielectric material in response to the applied electric field. Uh, generally, a key, the susceptibility, is dependent of the microscopic structure of the material and uh, some external factors like temperature. But uh, this is out of the scope of the scope of our discussion today. Actually, we are going to derive another constant instead of the electric susceptibility. Anyways, when we talk about dielectrics, usually we invoke the concept of the electric displacement, or what we call by d vector, the electric the electric flux density, and we know it's equal to uh, the summation of the polarization. And the product between the permittivity and uh, the electric field. Now substitute the right the right hand side of this equation for p in this equation, and we will have. And in this case, I'm going to uh, substitute one plus x uh, one plus k sub e by a new constant, which is epsilon sub r. And this new constant, uh, epsilon sub r, is representing the relative permittivity. Or sometimes it's called by the dielectric constant. Okay, and uh, we can unify these two epsilons into one epsilon, okay, with no subscripts. This epsilon with no uh, subscripts is called by the absolute permittivity or or simply the permittivity and generally in electromagnetics we are handling epsilon sub r the relative permittivity instead of a uh, key sub e the electric susceptibility uh, as we saw we said that the polarization of dielectrics is directly proportional to the applied electric field by this equation that we have show that we have shown before and according to this point we can classify you can classify dielectrics into two main types materials or dielectrics that obey this equation are called linear dielectrics or by other words the elect the polarization is varying linearly with the applied electric field otherwise the material is nonlinear nonlinear dielectrics are material where the polarization is not directly proportional to the applied electric field and it can be expressed like this function as a function of higher powers of the applied electric field. And we have uh, uh, we have k1, k2, k3 until kn, which are representing the first, second, third, and the nth order susceptibilities, uh, respectively. And these materials are called are called by nonlinear. Generally, in electromagnetics, for simplicity, we are handling linear di dielectrics, uh, and that's the end. See you.